Hello everybody, it's Henry Weederman. I'm back. I'm trying to put this Skag Tiger Cat wheel back together and I went to go put the center um, rod in and it had a small score on it and with the small score on it it didn't want to go through the bearing and I missed it. I mean, I, I didn't even catch it. So I'm just taking some of the high edge off and still you want to make sure it slides through the bearing doesn't get hung up. It's just a little bit too. It wasn't much. It don't take much because a human hand, when it comes to this stuff, is uh, not very strong. So okay, so I got it. I think I got it now. So it had a little damage to it. I didn't catch it. So it was hanging up while I was trying to insert it. So let's go ahead and slide this through. So this shaft goes through the center, right? And that pushed on the back side, floats in there. Oh, look at that. So I got that. So boom, we're there. Now, you notice how it pre-greases itself into the shaft. So I'll put a little bit on the bolt when I go to put it on. I'll put the bushings back in. One on each side. You got to make sure you put those in. They're already pre-lubricated. I don't mind a little grease on my hands. So there we go. So the wheel's done. One side and the other side. And I did a video on how I did that. So that floats in between it. Then the bushings keep the bearing tight. The the uh, center rod that I put in there keeps the wheel centered and spins on the bearing. And then you got the bolt. And here's the bolt. And I'll just make sure it's liberally covered because you don't want the bolt to get seized on the inside of that um, that center piece, that center bolt piece. Lost for words here a little bit. Anyways, got it lubricated. So now I'm ready to put the tire back on. So I'll go ahead and stop this. This is all ready to go. Do some pre-checks on old bearing if you can. I forgot to do that. We got excited here putting this back together. And uh, Henry Weiner man out, getting ready to put the wheel on.